Hi everyone, this is Val with Health with Val and I'm here today, I'm so inspired today to um, talk with you and and just pour my heart out as, um, as I face the same things that you face and the struggles that you face are my struggles and the fears and all that stuff that you're dealing with, guess what, I deal with it too. So um, I feel like God is calling me to step out of my comfort zone and do more uh, of what I've been doing. I've been connecting with amazing women, but there's always more that we can do, right? And so if you know me, you know my story. I'm a cancer survivor that turned into a health coach and I teach women how to reach their wellness goals naturally. There's no better way to reach your wellness goals than the natural way. So. What am I gonna talk about today? I wanna to talk about um, your disappointments with your weight because I'm in that same place. So let me go back a little bit in regards to how I got here and why I'm gonna talk about this. I've always struggled with my weight. I've always, even when I was thin, I thought I wasn't. Um, it's just been a journey and a struggle for me. But, uh, what I've realized after all these years is that we, you need to embrace that beauty that is within you. You are already beautiful. You're already amazing. You're already probably a hottie, <laughs> but you just don't realize it and you're not accepting it and you're not receiving that already beautiful gift that is within. So as I was doing... Uh, first of all, we're in the middle of, uh, I don't know if it's the middle or the end or the beginning. I don't even know what's going on, but we're in COVID right now, right? So there's this supposed pandemic that is keeping everyone at home. And guess what? Last year, I was a size six. Okay, I'm just being real. I'm letting it all out. <laughs> this year, I'm a size eight. And that wasn't too exciting for me. I was like, what the heck is going on? How did this happen? And since we were all wearing sweats and wearing all this stuff that was, you know, bigger than, you know, when we usually go out, we were a little bit tighter and more, um, eh, more presentable. But when we're home, we're like, I'm just going to wear comfortable stuff. I didn't even realize that I gained all that weight until recently. And I really felt sad. I felt very... I don't know, it was, a, it was a negative feeling. I wasn't looking at everything else that was positive. Then I got sick and so I couldn't work out. And so you can imagine that it just all didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out, right? So I got down on myself, I got negative, I didn't like the way it looked, I, I just felt really bad and I didn't realize that I was already great. I was great, but I gave up, right? So I wanna read something to you guys that really helped me today. I do a lot of personal development. I read scriptures in the morning, I pray, I go to women's, um, you know, just education stuff to get the mindset right and I think we should all do it. That's what this is actually. So I wanna read what helped me today. So this is biblical and this is Mark 6, 38. He said to them, who's he? Jesus, right? How many loaves do you have? Go look. And when they found out, they said, we have five and two fish. Now you're probably wondering, why is Val talking about that? Well, this is the miracle of multiplication. So the... Um, the Lord God had gone into um, a mountain, I believe it was, and he was, um, sh you know, speaking to masses. I think there was 5,000 there, men, women, and children. And people were hungry. And there was no stores like there are now. There was no Safeway, no Costco. None of those things were happening, right? No street vendors probably. I don't think so because everybody was hungry. And the apostles were like, how are we going to feed all these people? And God said, well, what do you have, right? So think about that right now. What do you have? Go look. And out of five uh, and two fish, they made, uh, you know, God made food for everybody, right? And it was just like, what is going on? So why am I sharing with this with you today? I want you to take a look at where you're at. What do you have? 
what is amazing already in your life and how can you take what you have and grow and build and thrive from that? That's what I want you to focus on. I don't want you to focus on, oh my gosh, my pants don't fit me. I'm tight. I don't feel good. I don't look good. I don't have energy. I want you to focus on what you do have and I want you to grow that. If you are a size eight, be a fantabulous size eight. If you are working out uh, you know, two to three times a week, do it with all your heart and increase from there. Tell yourself how beautiful you are. Go out and walks with your friends, with your family. Add an extra workout to your day. Um, think differently and embrace who you are and look in the mirror and realize that you are already beautiful. <laughs> I know it's hard to do, but trust me, you can do it. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Wherever you're at, take that and make it amazing. Make it the best life that you've ever lived. Because when you think about it, if you give up now, I want you to take like a crystal ball and I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think, okay, if I keep doing the same things that I have been doing, where will I be three, six, nine months from now, a year, five years and see how that feels. Is it going to get me to my goals? Is it going to help me? How's my mind going to feel? My family, my kids. What are going to be the results of that? Okay. Now I want you to take that ball and I want you to put it in the other hand. And I want you to say this. Wow, my life is amazing. I work hard. I'm exceptional. I am so beautiful. I am where I'm supposed to be and I'm going to grow from here and I'm going to make it great and I'm going to make it awesome and I'm going to go places where I've never gone before and I'm going to keep building from that. And I want you to really feel that and believe it. And then I want you to open up your eyes and I want you to think about what felt, what feelings came up and where do you want to be in the future? Because it starts today. It doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter who did it. What matters is what you do and how you think. And know that whatever God has given you, you can make it amazing and multiply it. And, and give to many. Whatever is going on with you, that is what you're going to give to everybody else. So I hope this video helps someone. I hope that you're inspired to give it your all. Get your workout going. Get your food cleaned up. Um, get positive energy around you. Get your friends involved in what you're doing. But even if they don't, you keep going because you want this. You are amazing. You are a fighter. You are a warrior. You are magnificent. There is no one like you. So I hope that this blesses you. Leave a comment and let me know how you're doing. Talk to you soon. Bye.